we needed a win. Um, we played some close games last week that we felt like if we had done a better job ourselves that maybe the week could have been a little different. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud proud of our guys having to play as many games in a row as they did and, and to come out with a win. And um, There's a lot of things we can do better, uh, a lot. But, you know, never apologize for a win. What was it about Jordan after he had a pretty rough out in the come out with four strong innings and got to a good start like that? Yeah, you know what? Um, I actually, um, I agree with you 100%. I thought he competed because um, I didn't think he was very good today. And, but I, but he made up for it in his body language and competing, and, and he did. He grinded his way. It's one of the things I told him there is that he grinded his way into a, into a, you know helping us win that game. So that was that was good. He has only got four hits, but you know, did a good job pushing those guys and bringing him in, scoring up. Uh, talk about the fact that he was in taking advantage of all those hit by pitches and walks. That was a big thing to that. Yeah, you know, I was, uh, I, I tip my cap to, to Bucknell. I mean, they pitched, they pitched well enough to get guys out. But, you know, I, I, I feel like, uh, you know, we had a lot of leverage um, counts as hitters today, 3-1, 2-0. And I felt like we didn't take very good swings. I felt like it was, we had some actual tentative swings, which we, um, in those counts, you should be ultra aggressive. And I didn't think we were. And so, um, but, we kept we kept fighting, you know, kept fighting, kept fighting, and, and uh, Nick Graham just put a really nice, easy swing on that ball, and, um, and uh, you know, and then you know Nick Riotto, who hasn't played in a while, you know, consistently you know, had a big hit for us. And, uh, that was good to see. Nick seemed, Nick Graham seemed pretty active in all aspects. Threw a guy out, and nice catch on a pop up. Tell me about that. A backup catch role is pretty important. What is it like to get production from a guy like that? It's great. I mean, you know, it's big, especially when you have a guy, you know, hitting down in the order that you know it's a tough out. And you know, I, I told him in there in front of the guys, like, you know, it's it's fun watching him develop. I mean, it's hard enough to be a freshman, but then it's hard it's harder to be a freshman catcher. And the guy's trying to learn how to catch pitches, call a game. He's trying to learn how to, you know, different arms. And he's, then he's trying to learn how to become a better hitter. And I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot for a guy. And he's doing a heck of a job. And that was a, a great A-B by him today. Uh, you guys had a couple of timely hits to give you the, give you the lead there. But you did have two opportunities with the bases loaded and came away with nothing there. How frustrating is that from the coaching perspective? And then, I mean, talk about that maybe a little bit in the future where opportunities like that are uh, left by the wayside. And, and it turns out the other way, you guys come out really losing. Yeah, I mean, we got to be better with with. Uh, we're leaving a lot of guys on base. That's not a that's not a secret. We got to be better there. Um, you know, but again, I think it also speaks to the fact that you know we don't we don't fold. We keep we keep grinding away at it, and our, it shows that our pitchers really kept us in it and did a good job there. And um, you know, it's it's something we got to get. That's when I talk about there's things that we got to get better at. We got to get better at that. Well, you switch things up with the lineup a little bit. Novak leading off and Skirp on second. And also, no Ryan Richter or Jim Haley. Oh, what was the thought process behind that? Behind that? Um, you know what? I, I needed to get um, I needed to get Rio into the game. Um, I haven't had a chance to get Jim off his feet all year. Um, I thought that today was a good day to do it. Plus, he wasn't feeling well. So, um, you know, that's really why kind of what I did there. And, uh, you know, like I said, I need to get Rio in a game. He's been swinging about well in BP. And, and uh, you know, it's just one of those things where you know, trying to trying to see, um, you know, when you have leading Novak off, just trying to trying to get him more fastballs. To be honest with you, and uh, you know, he's a guy you know is trying really hard. It worked out today because Graham gets on, and then you know he gets it hammers a ball you know to right field, which nothing's carrying, and he gets by that guy. So um, he did a good job. You mentioned grinding games out. Is this kind of a good teams find a way to win thing? Is that what you tell your team? Or? Well, uh, yeah, that's what I tell them because it's something that I think we can learn from and continue to become better at. Um, you know, um, we have the makings of being a good team. We're not a good team yet, and that is not. And I'm part of that team, so it's not. I don't mean that as coaches, players. Like I'm part of that team. We're not a good team yet. Um, but today is a day where we did some things that good teams do, and we just got to keep building off of that. And we did some good things this past week. But if we clean some things up, it's a different story. And that's, that's what good teams learn how to do. They clean that stuff up.